What do you feel when your father died? Do you remember anything? Please, I don't want to talk about that. I am so tired of hearing all dead voices. Calm down. Breathe. Everything is going to be okay. Do you remember that day? Hi, Em. Hi, Amanda. You have to tell me everything about Josh. I know it very early last night. You can't imagine the things that happened. I have been he really likes me. And he should be like a lady and took me to my house and he's home. Oh my god, you're so lucky. I totally envy you. I mean my last time was a total jerk. So you're so lucky. Wait, my mom is calling. Okay. Mom? Emma, I need your help. Your father is not breathing. He's laying on the floor. He was just talking to me and he just failed. I really don't know what to do. Please, come. I need your help. Come. Em, I think it's been a while since your father's death. And since that day, you have never left the house. I don't want to leave home. I know it's with me now and she's the only friend I want to see. Please stop talking about her. I have to go to my room. She's not real. She's only in your mind. She did not exist. Shut up! Shut up. She can't hear you. Don't bother her. She was my only support while you were crying in your room. Sorry, my dear. It was a really big mistake. I should have been with you. But I was shocked too. Do you hear that? What? The voice. Voices, honey. Mom, it's your fault. No, she's angry with me. And all the voices will return. She's saying that I have to go to my room. There will be bad consequences. Honey, there's no one in your room. Please stop. The only person I see is you. No, it was my fault. And he said this all the time. And she said that that my father, if I start the car on time, my father will be alive. Who is Annie? In your family, no one told me about her. Your mother, your mother thinks that she's not real, Emma. Shut up! She's here. She can listen to you. If she listens, listen, maybe she will return with all the voices again and never stop bothering me. Calm down. Breathe. I promise you, I will talk to her. And she will never, ever do anything to you again. You can't do anything. You don't know anything about me. Well, Em, um, then tell me about you. First, I'm not Em. My name is Kendra. And I don't like questions, even more if from a stranger. No, you're wrong. You do know me. Don't you remember? The only person I know is Josh, and I won't answer any question if he's not here. But don't worry, he's outside waiting for you, so... Hey baby, I need a favor. What do I have to steal now? Haha, <laughs> not that kind of favor. I need you to come with me, to do something, but you have to be careful because this time we will meet dangerous people. Okay, I will do it, but promise me you will be okay. No, honey. I can promise you that. You know that. But you will come with me. That's what matters. I know it's wrong, but if you don't want, you can leave. No, baby, I will go. Please, I love you so much. I have to go with you, I promise. I can live without you. Breathe. He's just outside waiting for you. Who? Cool. Josh, isn't he your boyfriend? Where am I? I should be in class. So, what's your name? Sarah. Okay, honey. Go outside and I will invite your mother in. Okay. Yes. Good afternoon, Dr. Wazen. Tell me what's wrong with my daughter. Well, Catherine, we have to be very careful because apparently she has a mental disorder. So, she needs a psychiatry treatment. 
No! I cannot believe it! My daughter is fine! I know she sometimes acts weird, but maybe it's just a phase! You know, she's a teenager! No, no, Catherine, this is not just a phase. She has a mental disorder, and we don't know how, how advanced it is. So, maybe tomorrow she will wake up not knowing who she is. No! We already have enough problems with her father's death. I won't deal with it. Calm down, Catherine. Calm down. We can help you both. But first, I need to hear your side of the story. So begin. Where's my husband? We have an important dinner now. Why am I here? Who are you? What? What's your name? My name is Ali. It's a pleasure to meet you.